Man, th this bike is heavy. It's as heavy as a, an Onyx, if not heavier. But this thing definitely picks up speed. I haven't gotten over 50 miles per hour yet because I, I'm a little, it's a little scary to be honest. It's like it picks up so fast. Feels like you know a Suron and an Onyx uh, combined together. It's like a really good midpoint of uh, what a Suron and an Onyx is capable of. It has the same motor brand uh, QS, but this is the AK watt version, so it's actually beefier and stronger. Really nice dual suspensions, um, just like a Suron, um, if not better. It has Volcano front forks and. Um, it has D&M rear shocks and we're just taking it out for a ride today. The owner said that it goes about 70 miles per hour. Um, to be honest, uh, that's freaking scary. But we'll do a little bit of a speed test, see what we can actually get. Fine tune the suspension because if, it, if your rear suspension is too soft, I was, I was like, oh, anything over 40 miles per hour, it was real, it was jumping in the rear. So I had to, um, I had to make it harder. And in, in other words, because uh, too soft was not good. This is a good portion to push the bike here. Let's get up to speed. 40 miles per hour. 50, 51. It looks like it was uh, capping at 52 miles per hour. And again, this is just stock settings. Oh, I didn't even see the wattage. Let me see the wattage again. 9,000 watts. Oh my gosh. This bike feels real fast. So it was pushing at around 9,000 watts and it was going around um, 51 miles per hour, 52 miles per hour, something like that. I don't have my GPS um, on today, but man, that, that's plenty fast for me. Even though the guy said it goes up to 70 miles per hour, which I'm confident that it does, um, I just have to tweak it in the um, Saviton settings, but I don't want to burn anything, you know, like especially not on the first day out. I'm really happy with 51 miles per hour. All right, we're here in Santa Fe Dam, so I can give you guys a little um, kind of walk through this bike, but also because I want to take it on the uh, off-roading a little bit, have a little fun on the trails that they have here. It's, it's like 140 pounds, if not heavier. It's definitely a heavy bike. All right, let's take it through its faces. Really slippery here, but no problem there. We'll kind of stop here for a photo or for a walkthrough. It's a 19 inch rear wheel, QS203 AK watt motor. I'm pretty sure it peaks at 12k watt. It's actually a 150 mil bracket frame that they offer only on, even they, they have it on Amazon. It has a 72 volt 40 amp battery inside. He originally had this wire coming out here onto this hole. So it took me like hours last night to tweak it in, put it inside, dismantle everything, pop everything back in. I kind of like these, um, uh, the battery encasement. It's kind of cool, I think. A nut that you can hand tighten. Volcano DNM um, front shocks, pretty squishy. Tektro Dorado four piston uh, brakes in the front and the rear. You can see it's NB power um, display. Um, inside, I didn't have the Bluetooth settings, so I have to kind of look for that. I have to look for like a USB dongle to have it Bluetooth capable. 
um, you can see that it has no chains whatsoever uh, because even though if it did this bike is again like a hundred 140 pounds in my opinion if not heavier so there's no way you're going to pedal this thing uh, 150 amp Saviton controllers in here that's going to be the the weapon that we're using today and uh, we're going to just do a little more off-road testing this is actually where we took our Suron before get like an introductory and uh, you know every time you get, I get a new toy an off-roady new toy obviously you want to take it off-road Please don't get a flat. I recommend these uh, Acro New Amazon light bar lights, especially with like if you don't have any hookups. I think it's cool and it fits this bike nicely. It's like 45 bucks on Amazon. I'm still working on rear tail light connections. I have an idea, so just um, yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna try to pop in um, the the red RX lights on this bike because this bike needs to be more visible uh, because this is definitely a all-around bike that I'll be using on light off-roads like this and also on the on the street use in terms of range I believe I can get I can get about 40 miles in my opinion of like street use but we're gonna be testing that as well this is probably the first bike that I have that has no chains Besides the Suron, like your mentality is a little bit different, you know, like knowing that you that I can't pedal home if, if something were to happen. I, I need to like call my wife or a friend, that kind of mentality. Comment below if you just love off-roading, guys. Like, it's just so much more peaceful than street riding, in my opinion. I don't have to worry about who's behind me. You know, like, I don't have to worry about cars honking at you or idiot drivers. Like, all that kind of stuff. I just love this. Very calming. Looks like we have 78 volts in the tank. Still a lot. I'm not entirely sure what, what these tire brands are. I think it's a Chinese brand, but... It looks exactly like the the Huntsman, and it's uh, I don't know. It's doing it's doing well right now. That's what I wanted to test. But let me see if there was a name. Oh, that's my alarm. I gotta go soon. Yeah, Yon Shing. Um, it looks like a the the V tires Huntsman uh, tread pattern, which is nice so far. Um, doing doing well so far. For future reference, in case I need to get new tires, I really like the Shinko tires. Oh yeah, here. This looks like a nice trail that we have not been to. Just got a duck here. Look for equestrian trails, if they have any here. Yeah, I haven't been here at all. Oh, there's cactus. It's like, oh my gosh, what is this, guys? Oh, we're venturing in the dark here now. Yeah, we're not gonna go that way. I see, um, I see like trash and stuff like that. So it might be a, like an encampment of some sort. <sighs> One thing I also like is the turning ratio is so much better than a, than a Suron. I mean, not a Suron, an Onyx. My turning ratio is so much better than an Onyx. Um, but it's also so much better than the um, Rumble Airframe. As unique as that bike looks, it's more like a show bike, in my opinion. It's not really capable of a lot of things for the, the body frame. Whew. Let's punch it. No one's around. Hey! So smooth. I just love how quiet it is. That's why I went for this bike. Still kind of considering the Suron again. Um, but I just don't want to be that guy that's so loud in the trails, you know? This one's uh, super ninja quiet. Whew, there's the water. All right, we can't take too long. I gotta eat breakfast and I gotta go to the gym. I 
and I gotta do my daily routine on uh, Sunday here. There's some tweaks, it's performing exactly how I would want it to. So that's awesome. All right, let's see how far we can get towards the water here. Um, I've been hydro biking, like in Long Beach, it's actually fun. It's basically biking on water with like a floating, uh, floating devices that they made for it. There's the water. Can't get any near. But this would have been a nice off-road place as well. All right, so it looks like uh, we've been at it for 19 miles and it's still at 79 volts. Um, all together, I have not charged this bike. <laughs> so that's amazing. In fact, I think we might sell our um, Onyx City. Um, it's a great bike, great value, but um, I feel like the, you know, the range that I get on it is really only 25 miles. With the addition of the Onyx RCR and this bike, um, we definitely don't need the Onyx City anymore. So this will take me to new types of adventures. I'm pretty sure a Suron will still outshine this bike in terms of um, off-road hills and climbs and stuff like that. But, at least I am not loud. That's all I could say. Like on the trails, I'm super quiet right now. That's where the rear hub um, QS motor shines for sure. Like I'm more silent than a mountain bike here, to be honest. Dead silent. Ah, what a fun little ride today. It's so nice to be near Santa Fe Dam. Like I could do this on the daily, even though if it's like th 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah, let's climb that. Get a little bit of a jump there. Uh, I can actually lift the front fork a little bit. You know, that's useful when you're, when I wanna pop off something or anything like that. Hello. This bike definitely needs a rear fender. I'm trying to get the mud hugger to. I'm looking for one in stock. Um, that's the best fit that I know on this um, type of build, the stealth bomber. Got my breakfast. All right, let's head home. This really feels like I'm gonna replace the uh, the Onyx City. The way this bike handles is just more of my personality, you know? Like, like having the turning ratio and just the capability of a bike it just seems a lot more, uh, a lot more fun. Feels more like a, like a really quiet dirt bike. Woo. I can kind of see why, um, why suspensions on the electric motorbikes are are more rigid? Because when you're going such at a high speed, it, this bike is really bouncy. It feels like I'm on a boat going over choppy terrain because of the suspensions and everything like that. All right, folks, that's gonna be in today's quick vlog. Thank you for tuning in. Like and subscribe for more content. Check out the useful links in the description below for additional discount on an Aerial Rider Super 73 or a DIY bath and kit. See you guys in the next ride. Peace. Ooh. Test our brakes there. Looks like we're good.